course, nobody is supposed to talk about that. Many of them still in this movement. You understand what I'm saying? To kill the civic side of this movement so people can think it's just another black religious Islamic sect. You get? That was their mission, to establish that fake reality, not reality, but that fake appearance of reality, that semblance, that color to the people, which is the color that most people have of the Moorish movement now, and anyone says that's not true is a liar, because that's the concept that people have of this movement. Until we came out and started reaching out to them while everybody else was being silent, condemning us for doing it too. And we put literature out there to change their concepts so they could have something to reference to. You understand? Just like the prophet said do. Exactly what the prophet said do. People mad at us, still mad at us for it. I don't care. Because I'm not in it for them. I got babies. And they got babies. And they got babies in the babies that's still in the womb. And I ain't having it. And I'm a soldier. I came as a defender for Nova Drawley. That's why I do what I do. I'm telling you bluntly. And I ain't for you. Islam. I was talking with the good brother Rami Salam El earlier today and we came to the conclusion, you know, as Mars that build, we came to the conclusion that right now is the time of Mars. <laughs> so we're going to beat up on something right now, right, that I just seen on the feed just because I'm really not doing nothing right now and we want to show you how the real incompetent trader sellout Negroes are the ones that classify themselves as Negro black colored African or whatever like that and say and put put claims out there right that the Moors are the sellouts the Moors are the founders of civilization the Moors are the founders of civilization nobody can argue with the fact that dark-skinned people founded civilizations on earth everybody can agree with that when we look up more in a dictionary it talks about north africans and arabs and berbers and all these you know names okay when you look up blackamore in the dictionary it tells you any dark-skinned person especially an african negro African Negroes are in the Americas only. There are no African Negroes anywhere else in the world other than jurisdiction of the Caribbean, so-called West Indies, and the place where people classify as U.S. and Canada. That's the only place, the only place, that is the only place that African Negroes come from in the world so we go back again blackamore and we want you to look it up we're not going to read anything out of no dictionary or none of like that you go look it up and see for yourself that moors are dark-skinned people how do we know that because in the definition of blackamore they classify black as an adjective written in lowercase plus more capitalized which means black is just a description of a person, place, thing, or idea. Namingly, in this situation, Moors. So person, place, thing, or idea. Moors falls into one, if not all, of those categories. Because there's places called Moor. Mauritania. Morocco. There's things called more. More fish. Moorish beard. And there are people called Moors. And there's ideas called Moors. So Blackamore is any dark skinned person, especially. African Negro not especially a North African not especially 
uh, Arab, not especially a uh, black Egyptian, not especially, especially African Negro is a Moor. So if you're going to say that you're not Moors because Allah, Islam, Noble Juali, nationality card, paperwork, sovereignty. If that's what you're going to use as a reason why you don't want to be a Moor, you're a goddamn idiot. So we're going to take one of those, these idiots right now and put them on blast. So hopefully people can learn that you are either going to be free national either you're going to be free national or you're going to be property either you're going to be free national or you're going to be property those are your only options whether you want to accept that or not that's up to you but the reality is either you're going to be free national or you're going to be property. Wow. Before we go any further, it's like people funny. So you start talking about your history, your nation, and all the atrocities that's been committed against you by these barbaric savages. And they actually want to act like you don't have a right to feel this pain. Oh, these people are funny. They got so much more coming. Anyhow, the Moors. I really appreciate the wealth of information that these so-called brothers are able to bring to the table. Now, this is coming from um, Akim Saludim Umar posted this A-K-E-I-M S-A-L-A-A-U D-E-E-M U-M-A-R and the caption of the video is the Moors are our first enemy to deal with the video is called Identity Crisis of Earth Melanated Being, Part 3, Moors, The Enemy Within. So, now how asinine is it that somebody's going to say, well, I like to give thanks for everything that these so-called brothers did, but we're going to beat them up, you know, even though they gave us everything that we have right now. Asinine. Whether it's through indigenous rights, more science, showing us how the court is run by UCC code, maritime laws, Talmudic laws, or masquerading as common laws of the land. Again, it must be singing from the same hymn book of the Nation of Islam and the Five Percenters. Because incompetence. The Moors must be singing from the same hymn book as the five percenters and the nation of Islam. The five percenters and the nation of Islam came after Moors. That's a documented fact. Nation of Islam was founded in 1930. And it's also a documented fact that the five percenters came out of members of the nation of Islam. So the furthest five percenters go back is 1930. The Moorish movement in North America teaching people the truth about their nationality and birthrights came about in 1913. Oh yeah, and by the way, members of the nation of Islam were members of the Moorish movement before they were members of the Nation of Islam. This is facts that we're talking about. This is not anything that you can't go research and find out. Incompetence. Stay key.
leave the people trapped in the inferior religion of their enemies. Talking about some boy named Allah. Let me make this abundantly clear. It is our intention to hold your feet to the fire until you realize that a nation running around trying to be everyone else except for themselves doesn't benefit them as an individual or as whatever small group they may have splintered themselves into. The real fraud of mistaken identity is not the Moors being something that they're not. The Moors have a documented history that goes back into empires before there were kingdoms, before there were cities and countries and all that. When empires ruled the world, there were Moors around. There were no black people around during those times. There were no Africans around during those times. But there were Moors. And more, like we said in the beginning, is any dark-skinned person, especially an African Negro. So when you classify yourself as black, the world knows that you're a more and you're probably stupid. You classify yourself as African American, the world knows that you're a more. Why? Because the Moors, dark-skinned people, we're not talking about some people that, that do Islam and some people that do Allah and all that. We're only talking about dark-skinned people. It is a fact that dark-skinned people are indigenous to every single landmass on the planet. That's a fact. Dark-skinned people are defined as black Moors. And then we take the black off because it's irrelevant, because all it is is an adjective. It's only describing, so we don't need it. So the, the identity, the noun, is more. So we're going to say, as conscious people, that we're not Moors, we're African. The Moors are slave trading Arabs. All right. We're going to go to Dr. Ben's book, who all these so-called Amun and whatever they call themselves, Egyptologists, black African power people, say that they honor him and they respect him. This is his book, Dr. Ben. Page 546. Page 545. The Arabs not only turned the tide of European rule in North Africa, but weakened the Europeans to the point where they could join the indigenous African Moors as slave masters over Europeans of the Iberian Peninsula, Spain, Portugal, and parts of southern France. From the year 711 to 89 until 4, 1485 CE. Yet, just as it was the Moors of African origin who first entered the Iberian Peninsula as conquerors in 711 CE, it was also they who were the last to be forced out by the Spaniards, in brackets the Christians, in 1485 from Granada. The expulsion of the African Moors came just seven short years before Cristobal Colon, Christopher Columbus, and his African Moorish chief navigator and captain of the flagship Santa Maria, Pietro Alonso Nino, a native of Morocco, North Africa, set sail for a shorter route to the Far East and ended up in what is today called the West Indies, by which is, real, which is reality the Caribbean. 
The final expulsion of the Africans, Arabs, and African Arabs from Granada, Spain, in 1485, initiated another chain of victories by the Europeans over the Africans until they were partially checked in 1957, at which time Dr. Kwame Nkuma led the Africans of the former so-called Gold Coast, Crown Colony of Great Britain, to a semblance of political freedom under the name of the Commonwealth of Ghana, which was later changed to the Republic of Ghana. No, Western historians continually try to impress everyone that the Moors were an Arab people, carefully forgetting that there were two types of Moors. The African Moors, the first to enter Iberia in 711 with Tariq. There were amalgamated African-Asian Moors, the offsprings of African and Asian Muslims. The Asians originally from Arabia and other areas around the Fertile Crescent entered Iberia and other areas around the Fertile entered Iberia 12 years later. So Arabs are Africans, but they're also Moors. And Moors are Arabs, which are also Africans. And what these incompetent people call identities of people are not identities. They are designations. And getting lost in designations and not sticking to the fact that the term more is synonymous with African and Arab. So if you're talking about Africans, you're talking about Moors. If you're talking about blacks, you're talking about Moors. Just take black or more and take the more off. That's how you became black people. And we are speaking from a perspective of we have a nationality. We have a nationality. We are not assuming that we are something that we're not. We are presenting ourselves in our proper person as free Moorish American nationals. There's nobody Nobody, not one individual that calls theirself other than Moorish American that is going to provide, for the record, any type of identification not given to them by the colonizer that has the name that they say is their free name because they're not a slave. The only people who are going to show something are Moorish Americans. And we're waiting. The name that you have on your Facebook, the name that you have on your SoundCloud, the name that you have on your whatever it is that you're doing out there, social media, please present identification showing that name that you're using. Definitely not as a nation. However, this benefits our enemies wonderfully. Now, let's take a, a look at this on a deeper level. Here's a bitter pill to swallow. The fact of the matter is, within our family, we have multiple race traitors. The only race traders are the ones that do not have a nationality. Go around the world. Forget go around the world. Go on the block where you live. Walk down the street and stop someone who does not look like you and ask them what's their nationality. I bet you they tell you something. Go down to the corner store 
where the guy from Saudi Arabia or whatever has a little convenience store and go ask him if he has a nationality and I bet you he's going to tell you that he has one. The only people who are the sellouts, the only people who are the agents, the only people who are completely disregarding their ancient foremothers and forefathers are the people classified as Negro, Black, Colored, African, American, African, African, Canadian, anything. If you're calling yourself anything other than Moors in the Americas, you have no claim because you denationalize yourself because you're a Moor. It's a documented fact. We told you Moor means any dark skinned person. So if you classify yourself as dark skinned, they're going to say, oh yeah, the, the race and the whatever. Let's lose our common sense and stop beating around with, with foolishness. If you know that you're a dark-skinned person and blackamore means any dark-skinned person, especially African Negro, and you claim that you're African because you came over here on a slave ship and they made you a Negro, then you're a Moor. You're a Moor. You're a Moor. There's no races of anything. There's Moors on the planet. And then there's, there's high concentrations of melanated people on the planet. And then there's low concentrations of melanated people on the planet. In the low concentration of melanin people on the planet, they are dominant genes and recessive genes. They're races. Forget races. Races is a fraud created by some Europeans. There's no such thing as races amongst dark-skinned people. That is a fiction. But hey, if you want to believe in your fiction, go right ahead. You know what I mean? We're not here to stop you from, you know, trying to put a baby shoe on a size 12 foot. Right? If you want to be in belief and illusion, no problem. This is for people who want to wake up. And the, of course, the expansion of the Ashanti Empire, the southwest of Buraka, resulted in the gutting out of the interior of the continent. Selling off their family members across the Atlantic Ocean. Race traders. <laughs> right? As soon as they say race, you know that they're working with the European because the European created race. But I thought the European is the devil and the enemy though. So how come the, the European is the devil and the enemy? It's a documented fact that some Europeans, pale people, devils, white men, created race. That's a fact. So white man created race, but then you have these black idiots you gotta try to convince people that race this and race that. The white man's the devil, but he created race that they're always making reference to. Always making reference to race. Why are they always making reference to race? So the Moors have a prophet named Nobu Juali, and he copied from a European. Uh, he copied from a European named Levi Dowling and took Levi Dowling's Aquarian Gospel and made the Holy Quran of the Morris Science Temple. But black guys, conscious Negroes, are going to tell me that races and use races and say that the term races when that came from a European. Aren't they doing the same thing that Noble Juali did that they claim? Like if they claim that he that Noble Juali stole from a European, if they use the term races, then that means they're stealing from a European. Because Europeans created races. But incompetent people don't know about nationality. And they're gonna put out videos and talk about people are race traders, Moors are race traders, but 
we stand on the fact that we're Moors. So if we're saying that we're, if you're saying that we're race traders, Moors are race traders, right? All right, you're entitled to your claim. Our counterclaim to Moors being race traders, right, is what's your nationality? Because you're not in Africa right now. Or are you? Because it's real odd that you're a slave from Africa, but you stay here. Why don't you just go back to where you come from? Why is it so hard for you to leave here if you came over here from a slave ship, came over here on a slave ship, and you're in the enemy's land, okay? They got planes and stuff right now. There's no boat that you got to take to go over there. So why don't you just go back to Africa? Why? Because you can't. Why? Because when you go back there, you realize that the people there are going to tell you, you're not from here. What are you doing here? And they're going to send your ass back here. Which is why, because you're African, you do a crime. They don't deport you. They just put you in a jail and suck off you for the rest of your life. You're for a slave from Africa. Why don't they deport you? Deport you back to where you come from. Matter of fact, that'll be a good way to get back home. Go do a crime because, you know, they deport people when they do a crime and they're not from here. So this game that people are playing right now, under the guise of trying to diss Moors or make it look like, you know, Moors are wrong, don't hear what we're saying, anybody that listens to these people you will get yours guaranteed you will get yours because you don't even know that it's already here you think something's coming but it's already here and the fact that you don't have a status or a nationality when these people start calling in their debts and all that and you don't know how to defend that using law You're going to come into the Moors crying. The Moors took the cake. And they made the Ashanti look like they weren't even trying when it comes to their treachery, when it comes to their abandonment and their treachery. Uh, they became the ultimate race traitor. They converted to Islam, the religion. Converted to Islam. Hold on a second. The Moors converted to Islam. We're going to just go to the Spanish Inquisition. It's another book. It's a European now. Page 112. The fact that Castile and Valencia had large new Morisco communities made it incongruous that the Moors should still be tolerated in the province of Aragon. Charles V, finally on the 13th of September, 1525, issued orders that the Moors were no longer to be tolerated in Spain except as slaves, and measures for their conversion were to be set afoot. This was followed on the 25th of November by a decree for the expulsion of all Moors from Valencia by the 31st of December and from Catalonia and Aragon by the 31st of January 1526 the unfortunate Moors came forward in their thousands to accept a religion which they neither believed nor loved nor ever intended to practice Castile and Valencia and Aragon and Ferdinand and Isabella, they're not Islamic. They said the Moors converted to Islam. How the Moors convert to Islam when during the reign of the Moors, Islam was the dominant religion. And when you do your research on Islam, 
you would realize that Islam is not this thing that you see today that people say that their Muslims do. That's not Islam. Why? Because Islam is Mohammedism. And Mohammedism is a totally different place than what you think about Islam. But again, when you have incompetent people trying to tell people something about, you know, they know their self, they know history, but they can't even show that they're a national. They can't even show that they represent the nation that they claim is their nation. Ghanaian empire of the whatever, and you can't show me a Ghanaian nationality card? You can't show me an Egyptian nationality card? Hebrew nationality card? Nation of Islam nationality card? Nuapian nationality card? You can't show me that. But you're talking to me about some races? A lot of times these people disqualify themselves and we use these things not to beat up on them. Forget them. This is for you to learn something. They stop following stupid people, making videos, like they study. They don't have a nationality. What do you know about studying? What do you know about studying? What do you know about know thyself? People don't know thyself. They are slaves, property. They read some book, think they got some info. But they still have slave master's name, guarantee. And they use it. Their bank account got his name. Their whatever it is got his name. And they have no idea about nationality and birthrights. And they want to talk about they know something. The only conversion that Moore's converted to was under the Inquisition. And the conversion was to Christianity. Because like we said again from the beginning, there's two races on the planet, if you're going to talk about races. Europeans, pale people, and dark-skinned people. Blonde hair, blue-eyed people, and everybody else. If you're going to talk about races. That's it. Because Arabs, Asians, because remember Dr. Ben, Dr. Ben told you in his book, Asians, Asian Moors, Arab Moors, African Moors, and Asian Moors. You say nothing about no black people. What's black people? What's that? He never said nothing about black people. And he never talked about Asian Moors, Arab Moors, or African Moors in a negative context. Why? Because dark skinned people are the founders of civilization and only a jackass would think that they're not Moors. They're everything else, but you're not Moors. But you're everything else, but you're not Moors. You'll be everything else except Moors. Yeah. Of their enemies of the barbaric savages Arabs and then and not being able to no longer relate to the remainder of the black Africans no longer able to sympathize and empathize no we don't sympathize or empathize with the quote unquote black Africans because there's no such thing as a black African and if you consider yourself something that is abused, mistreated, exiled, whipped, hung on a tree, you claim to be something that gets that type of treatment? When you could claim something else that would not get that type of treatment, then you're on your own. And I will, and I will not sympathize with you or empathize with you because you chose that road to walk down. You chose 
the rough road to walk down. You got, you know what I mean, meadow over here, you could skip all day. You want to go walk down the, the, the freaking pothole infested road. You want to know why your feet hurt? How about you just be close to nature, walk in the grass? No, you don't want to do that. Got something to prove. The black man struggles so much. We gotta prove something. You don't prove nothing if you say that you're Mars. Everybody goddamn knows who you are. You don't know who you are. And again, people don't want their birthright. That's on them. It's their birthright to not want. But don't come at Mars who are active and actually doing something to, to change this thing around. You know what I mean? Don't, don't, don't try to ridicule active morals. Because we, at least we're doing something. At least we're attempting to do something. So I'm marching up and down the place. With them, they absolutely turn against their family and savagely aided and abetted our demise. You know, I often wonder what the ancestors must have been going through internally. I mean, here we were as one family for millions of years, mind you. And then... So we're one family for millions of years. I assume that one family is dark-skinned people. Millions of years now. So now all of a sudden, you are not all of the people from millions of years ago, your specific ones, and then you're excluding one that looks just like you. And you're talking about Moors are the ones hating on whatever. Moors are the ones keeping their people out. No, you're keeping yourself out. Because again, the world knows that you're not Africans. You Negroes in America. The world knows this, you Negroes in Canada. The world knows that you're not African Canadians. They'll play a little game with you because you're stupid. But when it comes down to who's going to have their Greek town and whatever like that, they're not, they're not signing no petitions for you guys to have no black town. No black area. Your black area is those little ghetto infested gentrified, marginalized, whatever areas. That's your area, you stay in your little cubby hole. While other people come in your land and live like kings and queens in your land, off your birthright that you don't want. Because you're listening to these clowns. Telling you everything to get you away from your nationality and birthrights as morals and have you accept some fiction as a reality and then get your ass kicked in the fiction and then claim that somebody did something to you? Why you, why you say that you're a fiction though? Yeah, well, it, no, no, why you say that you're a fiction? But I was walking right over there, but then, no, forget about subject matter. Why are you saying that you're a fiction? When you can be Reality. Oh. Just choose to just do that because you heard some guy on YouTube say that the Moors enslave their own people so you don't want nothing to do with that. Africans enslave their own people. Right? Where's all the African forts at? Same Ghana and all those stuff that this guy's talking about. That's where all the African forts are at. There's no African forts in countries in Africa that aren't near water. Because slave ship, right? Slave ship means boat, means water. So the slave fort has to be near the water. Well, the only place near the water is South, West, Africa, continent, where, you know, you say they come from. And then Northwest, where these people say that they came from, they took them from the slavery. 
Okay, none of those lands are Moorish lands. Those are so-called African, as you call them. So the, wouldn't that mean that the African, since Africans aren't Moors, right? Then that would mean that the Africans actually were the ones that had a part in the slave trade, not the Moors. Because all the slave forts are in Africa, African countries, not Moorish countries. If you want to talk on your level, so you understand that you can't take the good and leave the evil. You can't take the good and leave the evil. One or the other. If you're going to take the good and leave the evil, then you're running a fraud. If you're going to only talk about the evil, and not bring up anything good, you know, that's why in the beginning he did his little, we want to thank the Moors for the stuff that they did, the Moors science and, and law and you know, whatever. Placation. Placation. Uh, I don't know, a managerial role in the Slavic economy. Now, if I could remember right, I believe history told me that there were some black people who were against the 16th Amendment. There were some black people who were against the 16th Amendment. Now, the fact that reference is being made to a 16th Amendment when the true constitution only has 10 amendments. You know these guys are running a fraud that they don't even study the stuff that they're talking about. They're just flapping out their mouth. But just to shut them up, let's go to the 16th amendment and see what the 16th amendment is since he's referencing it. Let's see what the 16th amendment is. So 16th amendment submitted by Congress July 12, 1909, ratified February 25, 1913. The Congress shall have power to lay and collect taxes on incomes from whatever source derived without apportionment among the several states and without regard to any census or enumeration. Let's go back and see what he says. They're converted to the religion of their enemies and therefore it was offered, uh, I don't know, a managerial role in the Slavic economy. Now if I could remember right, I believe history told me that there were some black people who were against the 16th Amendment. This had to have been this infidel, the so-called brother of... What the hell does the 16th Amendment have to do with anything? Do you understand that Europeans in the Americas are Masons because they're pretending to be Moors? And that's the secret of the Freemasons, that they are pretending to be Moors. That's why they have fezes. That's why they play secret games in underground chambers. That's why you go to their house and they have Moorish pictures on their wall worth $5,000. Why would Why would a, a a slave master, a European slave master fill his house with history of the Moors and Kemet. 
Now, if you use common sense, if you're a slave master, you'll fill your house with your stuff. Why are you filling up with other people's stuff? Maybe it's because they honor them. Maybe it's because they know the great debt that they owe to the Moors. And psychologically, you know, they can't come tell you people that you're Moors because you don't want to accept it. Because you're going to fight them when they tell you that you're Moors. When Moors tell you that you're Moors, you're going to fight it. Pretend like it doesn't exist. Pretend like what we're saying is not right and exact. That, oh, we're the ones that sided with the European. That's why we get a pass. Not every European is your enemy. Not every European is your enemy. But because you have a limited mental capacity and you were taught by the European about races, you lose yourself. Because multiculturalism is there to lose Negro, Black, and colored people. It's there to get you lost in the sauce. That's why they classify not only Negro, Black, colored people as minority. Because that, that doesn't just belong to you. There's other people that are subjugated as well. But the other people that are subjugated guarantee they have a nationality and been got reparations. How come you never got reparations yet, black guy? 700 years of slavery, you never got European, never said once, yeah, let's just cut them a check. Well, you never wonder why. They just never give you, like why they just give you your stuff back? Because if you don't have a nationality, then there's nothing to give back. Because if you don't have a nationality and you claim that you got injured, then without a nationality, that means you're a fiction. So who cares if you get injured? You're a fiction. Just play their games, but recognize that none of them could prove to you who they are. None of them. They're going to make claims, they're going to make videos, but when it's time to put their status on the record, I bet you they have some European name. And if they have some Asiatic name, I bet you they went to the same European court office to go change their name on some form that they got from some European. Now they're Asiatic now. Now they're knowing their self because, you know, they went to the European to be African. They went to get permission from their slave master to change their name from the slave name that they had to African name now. But if you went to the slave master to do that, you're still a slave with your African name. Bows, these treacherous Negroes didn't want the rest of the population to enjoy any level of freedom because that would diminish their so-called relative quasi-freedom. If they were real master teachers, they would have been teaching the children about the gods of their ancestors. The gods of our ancestors. The gods of our ancestors. Now, if our ancestors were gods, who the hell are the gods of our ancestors if our ancestors were gods? And they 
play these games. Slide religion in. Show some superiority to what the Moors present. Because, you know, the Moors say Allah. And when they say Allah, that means they're Muslim. Allah is all universal law. All law. Allah. Not Allah. Allah. And to say that we don't honor the gods of our ancestors is a complete fraud because I know Moors who practice Vodun which is a so-called African spiritual system I'm a son of Nana Olokun Olokun is not some European concept That comes directly out of the continent. So the Moors are against African and African spirituality because we say Allah. Because Allah is woman. Arm, leg, leg, arm, head. Just like the Sphinx is woman. And the real God of our ancestors is woman humanity and there's no way you can say that Moors don't honor women because our fez represents women our turban represents women our nation represents women We'll say we don't honor because we talk about Allah and we don't honor God. We have more respect for her than half these people call their self-conscious. Why? Because humanity comes from her. No man doing nothing. Get the hell out of here. Gods. definition of the word Sankofa. Sankofa. Dot, dot. To return and retrieve the ancient wisdom of your ancestors. So, uh, to actually research back to the moors of the Middle Age amongst a race who's been on this earth for millions of years. It's a very poor research. In all actuality, it's poor. Now, I'm not just pissed off about some shit that happened, some event that happened hundreds of years ago. But these are the same goddamn and goddess damn so-called brothers who are coming back and trying to tell us that our ancestors ways wasn't right and still trying to throw that Islam Muslim savage barbaric garbage that they used to almost destroy us once again Islam is not a religion Allah is not a God to Moors. Allah to Moors is arm, leg, leg, arm, head. Mother. Islam to Moors is I self, Lord, and Master. Or I self, Law, and Master. Allah and Islam to Moors have nothing to do with being Muslim. 
Islam and Allah to Moors have nothing to do with being Muslim. Right back in our face. Now, I don't know if I'm the only one that see a problem with that. All who mislead the children are criminals and are enemies of humanity because they're against the people. Right, so while the video is going on now, while he's talking stuff, they got stuff reeling in the background, right? So this is what the background states. Right back right in here. Europe. Right? Because they, they, they try their slickness, you know. Even by legal definition, the word more means death. The courts won't recognize Moors as sovereigns because today the word more is defunct, as in civil litter mortus, and spelt mortus, M O O R T U S, which means dead in the eyes of the law. Right? Now, if civil litter mortus means dead in the eyes of the law, and the status of more is dead and the courts won't recognize Moors as sovereign because of that fact. Why is it when Moors go to court and say they're in propria persona that cases get dismissed? If Moors are civil litter mortus, why is it which means dead in the eyes of the law, which, which means law is not going to recognize them because they're dead. Why is it that a Moor could upload a video called Canaan Land Moors, My Name is My Name, Part 7, where he talks about going to court and saying that he's a Moor and his stuff getting dismissed. And Civil litter mortus comes from being stateless. Civil litter mortus has nothing to do with the Moors because the Moors are in full life. Look that up in a law dictionary. In full life. Because the Moors are in full life, that means we have a status and cannot be civil litter mortus. Why? Because as a Moor, our status is absolute. Look up absolute in a law dictionary. So with an absolute status, impropriate persona or improper person, there's no way that because Mortus has more in it, that means the status of a Moor is dead in a court of law. That's a lie. And I bet you, that let's let's challenge one of these so-called people who call themselves anything other than Moors. I challenge you, go out there, get a ticket, and beat your case not being a Moor. That's a challenge. For all you people out there who say Moors are crap and Moors this, Moors that, go out there, go get a ticket, and beat it in court using your black status, your African status, your Hebrew Israelite status, your chemetologist status, your Nuwapian status. Just, just, I just want to see what the outcome would be. It doesn't have to be a crazy ticket. You don't want to run anybody over. Just get a ticket and beat it in that status with your no nationality card and your no papers to prove that you are whoever your Facebook or whatever says that you are. And let's see if you beat those. And we'll be waiting for that. We'll be asking for it again. You know I mean, just to see. Savage, barbaric garbage that they used to almost destroy us right back in our face. Now, I don't know if I'm the only one that see a problem with that. All who mislead the Right? In the late 1800s, the Moors special status was revoked and the Moors were enslaved by their white friends. Still today, the fallen Moors sit enslaved, sit enslaved next to us 
the innocent and stolen Africans that they betrayed. Ironic. Yeah, we're sitting next to you, but I guarantee you that it's not because of some European cooperation why we don't pay taxes. It's not because of some European cooperation why we beat tickets. It's no European cooperation why more is get mortgages discharged. It is not because of European cooperation why Moors get student loans and car loans discharged. And I'm telling you because I know these people. And as Moors, we discuss what goes down. And we're sitting next to you, but we're not going through your nigger suffering. You're on your own with that. Because you, just like you said, you chose to be innocent and stolen African spelled with a K that doesn't exist. Because Dr. Ben, who you just buried and you guys cried over his casket and stupid stuff like that, all you people have his book and he tells you that Africans are Moors. And you're going to play around that you're not Moors when Dr. Ben taught you that Africans are Moors. So you're saying Dr. Ben, w w he, he, he was making that up, right? Dr. Ben's a fraud now because, you know, he said Africans are Moors and y'all not going with that. So obviously y'all think that he's a fraud. Because if you're going to tell me here that you're a stolen African, then that means you're a stolen Moor. Because Africans are Moors according to Dr. Ben. But we'll let you stew. We'll sit right next to you and watch you suffer. Because it's your birthright. If you don't want it and you want to make up stuff why you don't want to be Moors, hey, do your thing. Like, I'm, you know what I mean? Do your thing. Children are criminals and are enemies of humanity because they're against the people. Moors would be wise to take heed to the Prophet Drew Ali's last words before his untimely demise. As Drew Ali sat in jail for allegedly sending assassins to kill a Moor, she, Claude Green, who wanted to take his place. The last words from Drew Ali to the Moorish nation before he died was, Prefer not a stranger to your brother. I wish Moors would have understood that 500 years ago. So, they're not Moors. They, they, they have nothing to do with Moors, but they can quote noble Drew Ali though. And tell Moors that they should take what Noble Drew Ali said seriously. Don't let these people fool you out of your birth, right? They're using Noble Drew Ali as a reference. Noble Drew Ali is a Moor. He's not black, he's not African. He's a Moor. So, they, so they're going to quote a Moor. They're going to quote a Moor, but tell you you're not Moors. They're going to quote a Moor, but tell you that you're not Moors. And not just any Moor. Right? They're not going to quote anymore they're gonna quote noble Drew Ali Islam <laughs>